Hello everybody and happy Monday. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is Sandra. I'm the Stamping Bee and uh, I'm just excited to be back in the swing of things and as I mentioned it's like regular programming is back. So every Monday um, I come on here live and uh, share with you some projects that I'm working on or what's been on my mind um, in hopes to inspire you to do something creative this week as well. Hope you had a great weekend and looking forward to the Labor Day weekend, which is for the United States, where I think the um, Labor Day is this weekend. My goodness, time is just going so fast. Um, before you know it, it's Christmas. But anyway, so welcome to my channel. And um, I have some fun things today to share with you. But before I go into that, I wanted to... Um, let you know that my next class is September 8th. Originally, it was for the haunted home, but it just got sold out so fast that I'm not able to offer that class. So instead, I'm going to sub in another um, paper pumpkin class. And let me show you. This is last month's paper pumpkin cards. It's so beautiful. So for those of you who have not yet experienced paper pumpkin, I encourage you to... Uh, drop in and join the class so you can get a first-hand um, look, first experience, um, real-life experience of what um, Paper Pumpkin's all about and how easy it is you can create beautiful cards. These are so simple, okay? Hello, Tess. How are you? Thanks for jumping in. And so for attending this class, you will have a bonus project which is this one. And this is using, believe it or not, the envelopes of the project. So yeah, so it's a lot of fun. And this is the bonus project that you will do, um, you will create um, in the class. So September 8th, this will be $20. And of course, if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, the class is free. And for those of you who are already existing Paper Pumpkin subscribers um, of mine, um, come. And you can make this class, uh, this card for free. <clears throat> or just bring your kit if you have not even started um, your kit. Okay? So that's my little um, advertisement for my September 8th class. Okay. So um, today I am going to talk about designer series papers. So for those of you who are not already in the know, um, be, you only have one more week left just a few more days left for the designer series paper sale, 15% off. It's a great deal. And I wanted to make sure that you are not forgetting it and that you will take advantage of the sale. It's 15% off. And designer series paper is such a workhorse for the crafter. And for all of you who are new to paper crafting, new to stamping, um, it's your like easy button to make a card. So without further ado, I'm going to switch the camera around and let's see what I've been, I've created for you today. Let's see, where's this button? Oh, okay, there it is. Button. Oops, there we go. All right. So again, just to remind you that the designer series paper is ongoing until the 31st of August. Right now, um, this is low inventory. This country lace is low inventory. So if this is something you would like, and I highly, highly recommend this because such a, it's such a good neutral background paper to use, um, send in your order ASAP. The country woods is already unavailable right now. I'm sure it'll come up later, but to avail of the sale, I think this is no longer available. Another one that's low inventory is this. Okay, the Thoughtful Journey. This is a beautiful, beautiful paper as well. So um, don't miss out. Um, okay, so having said that, so as you know, if you've been following me, you know that I love using um, Design Series paper for my cards because it just makes card making so simple. It's sort of like a one and done. You slap on a beautiful piece of paper, add a greeting sentiment, and it's done. So let me just kind of show you what I mean. I mean, look at that. This is all um, designer series paper forefront, right? It's basically a card with the main emphasis was on the paper. 
And here's a card that I had shown earlier, um, a few weeks ago, a swap card that I made. And again, this is <clears throat> design series paper, but you know what? These, the leaves that I die, um, die cut is also designer series paper. So designer series paper is also great to provide nice die cut images, okay? And of course, you know, designer series paper, I love it when you can use um, scraps to make a card. And the beauty of the stamping up papers is they all coordinate beautifully within the packet and outside the packet. As you can see, this is the country, what's it called? Let me bring this out, yeah. So this is the Countryside Inn mixed in with the Country Lace. And that's the beauty of these design series paper from Stamping Up is that the color scheme, once you hone in on a color, you can pull in the same color from different uh, paper packs and it will seamlessly go together. That's the beauty of design series paper and that's how, that's why um, it is worthy to you know, it's worth your while to invest in a couple packs because it just makes it so easy. Okay, so what do you do with the designer series paper? Um, I know it's beautiful. A lot of people say, oh, I don't want to cut into it. Well, I have a suggestion. Buy two. One to use, one to save. Okay, so today I'm going to share with you um, a method that... Um, cuts into your paper without much waste and you can make so many cards very quickly and it's called the one sheet wonder i know a lot of you will know that um, and there are many many versions of it online so this particular version i'm sharing is something that was shared by shannon west one of the demonstrator managers of stamping up oh almost about maybe two years ago and that's something that I gravitate towards because it's one of the a fun and easy way of um, cutting up your design series paper. Okay, so let me grab this. Okay. So it starts with six by 12, okay? So it's a six by 12 sheet of paper that you're cutting up. Now remember, all the paper is dual side. So by cutting up one, you've already got two variations, right, that you can play with, okay? Not only that, by cutting two sheets from the same packet, it multiplies your options. So let me show you what you can do with this. So when you cut this out, this is the card that you can make, okay? Now, when I'm working on these one sheet wonders, um, this is how I approach it. All of Stamping Up papers in the back tells you what the different colors are. So what I do is then I pull in the cardstock that will go with this paper, and then I add some bling, I add some ribbon, and then I add in some sentiments. Okay, so that's the method. I'm sure you have some stamp sets that have sentiments, so you're ready, you know, half the battle's already done, right? So for this particular um, example that I'm doing for today, I went ahead and used the Unbounded Love die cut, okay? Because it's part of the same paper, so you know that whatever the die cut that is in here will coordinate with the paper, okay? so. Easy peasy then. So let me put this away and show you. Okay, so this is one of the cards that I made. Really simple. You know, I think the fun part is probably deciding how you want the combination to be. So again, this is this, um, uh, what do you call it? This uh, kind, okay? So that's that. And then you can also do it this way. It doesn't always have to be this way can be this way, okay? And my goodness, for my team, September is birthday month. I think we must have a million people having birthdays on, in September. So all my cards, I'm so quickly, I can make a bunch of cards uh, ready to go in September. 
So this is this. And of course, birthday cards, you always need to have some bling. So that's why I include some bling here. Okay. Here's another one. Now, this is also taking advantage of the fact that the Unbound Love um, die cut has these um, die cuts in it. So you're very easily, you can coordinate with the images here, right? So here's another card. Okay. Simple, right? I mean, it just makes card making so easy. And you don't have to worry about um, whether the colors are going to clash or not, because you know it will not clash, because it's all designed by Stamping Up Artists. Um, so that's this first grouping. So this is the next grouping. And um, here's one that I've done. Okay. And then um, you can also glue it down, which is what I did here. I glued it down. Okay. Here's another one that I glued down. Okay, see it's glued down. And this one I pulled in from the ephemera pack. Remember those? I love them. So I'm able to use these, the ephemera pack on here. So again, no need to stamp and instant card. Bling. Okay. And here's another example of this card using the strip. Okay. So that's that. And then for this option here, this is what I made. Okay. This is using this here. Okay. So these plus this. So that's this one. And because I had cut up three pack, um, three sheets, so I'm able to get some extra variety here. Okay. And then here, remember I cut up about three, three six by 12 sheets. So with these, I had four that I'm using like this. See how easy it is to make cards once you have a system. And I love it. Okay, and that's one great way to use up your paper um, that you have stashed away. Because if you don't use it, you know, you probably, you know, run out of room pretty soon. And um, anyway, so this is how it looks. And when you place an order of $50 or more with me this month, um, I'll be sending you all the measurements and um, PDFs of the cards that I made. Okay, so that is my little thank you gift for ordering this month, this week. Okay, so what else can you do with designer series paper? Well, with the holidays coming up, gift bags. Here's a cute little gift bag. Oops, take this away. Using the paper, okay? And it's so simple, and I wanted to share with you um, how you can make this. With all the different papers that we have, um, you can, I, you know, your packaging will be so beautiful and um, unique, okay? So yeah, so just as a frame of reference, um, this is a six by six. Um, I used two pieces of six by six and the bag that is created, you can fit in like a Kit Kat like this, okay? Like that, okay? Yes, Tess, this is so easy to make. And by different sizes, you can, just different, like six inch, eight inch, 10 inch paper will make different sizes. So what you need to do is just start scoring. So the first thing is you want to score um, the top of the bag because I always tend to forget that. So that's why I always score the top of the bag first and that's three quarters of an inch, okay? And then the other three uh, will be one and, a um, one and a half, yes, one and a half. Again, 
I will provide you with these measurements um, with every order that you put in this week for me. So this is one and a half, both three sides, okay? So it's easier probably to see it on this side. So let's burnish these. And this is the top, so um, I'm gonna give it a little cuff here. Let me put this away. Burnish it. So once you have a stash of designer series paper at home, I mean, when you need a last minute gift, you already have the packaging already, right? Isn't that wonderful to wrap your gift? Okay, so for this one, what I'm gonna do is cut out the corners here. I'm gonna make sure that Yeah, thanks for joining me live today. I really appreciate it. Um, why not just uh, comment below um, what your um, Labor Day holiday plans are. Okay, so remember I said I, you need a two, right? So I already did one um, ahead of time and we're gonna start putting them together. Okay, so all you're doing is, see this? And that's how this bag came about, okay? You'll probably want to trim this a bit because what happens is when you fold over, there's a little bit of bulk. So wasn't that simple, this little bag? And a tip I have for you when you um, punch the holes is have this as a gauge. That way you will make sure that the, uh, the gap between the holes is consistent on one side to the other, okay? And that's how you make this little bag. Cute, right? Very simple. Okay, so another bag that I have that I wanted to share with you is this bag here, okay? Yep. This is also made from a sheet of six by 12. And for this kind of uh, paper, it really lends itself well for those designs that are this way, that have a direction. So before I forget to mention, when you're doing these projects, um, your best results will be with images that are a pattern that is multi-directional, like there's not an obvious up or down. Um, but you know, you can use those directional design, but you just have to be careful that you don't autom you don't mistakenly put it upside down. I have to share, share with you what happened with me. So this was something that I made, but I wasn't paying attention. And guess what? It's upside down. <laughs> so anyway, so that's why I say it's important to choose um, you know, the non-directional type of a pattern, but if you do have a directional pattern, make sure you're uh, concentrating. Don't be like me, yeah? Oh, hi, Becky. Thanks for jumping in. Anyway, so yeah, so this is um, the landscape kind of a direction, right? And it's a six by 12. And let me show you um, how it's done. So what you're gonna do is, again, all a matter of paper and scoring. I tell you, with the scoring, with these trimmers or scoreboard, it makes it so easy to make these projects. So for that one, so we're gonna start with the four inch, okay? And then five and a half. And 
And then nine and a half, let me bring this over. Nine and a half. Okay. And 11. And then turn it around. We're going to do it at five. See how simple it is? That's it. That is it. Okay. I'm going to put this away. And I'm going to use my bone folder. And burnish lines here. You know, so now you have a means to creating pretty packages. It's all in the presentation, you know? Okay, so I think that's it, right? Uh, did I forget one? Oh, yeah, there it is. That's the score. All right. So there we go. So there's the shape of your bag. And of course, we're going to cut this out. Okay. So it's, in, it's best to glue this shut right here. Where's my, oh, there it is. There you go. Okay. So there's your bag. And so the topper is four inches by three and a half. Score it at one and three quarters. And uh, so for this, you're just going to pinch this a bit. Okay. And put on here. Okay. And that's how you make a bag. Okay. So for this one, what I did was, oh, so you want to glue this. Okay, so this is how it looks. Okay, let me, oh, let me take this off. So that's how it opens up. So you're gluing this back part to it. Okay. And then just, that will hold it, secure your, the opening. Okay, okay go in, go in, go in. There we go. Okay, so this is another option, yes, you can do that. Of course, if you wanted to, you can also put, um, um, punch two holes and tie a ribbon. And that's also a possibility, an option too. I mean, there's just no right or wrong way to doing these things, but um, so yeah. So I hope you, have, you are convinced that having designer series paper is a good thing it's especially now with the sale it's sort of like you know when the grocery store has your basic necessities um on special you're going to stock up and such is the situation here and with these cards like this it's sort of like i call it the meal prep card version of meal prepping um you just make a whole bunch of cards at one sitting and then you'll have it ready um when the occasion arises. Okay, so that's it for today. Something really simple, but I honestly wanted to um, use this as a way to remind you about the designer series paper sale that's going on until the 31st. Don't miss out because these are gorgeous, gorgeous papers. Um, the one that I used today is called um, Unbounded Beauty. Okay. And it's just beautiful, right? All right. Okay, again, thank you so much for joining me today, whether you're watching this live or on replay, I appreciate it. So if this is something that you think one of your fellow crafty friends would like, please share it. I would appreciate you sharing this with your friends. Um, that's how we can grow together, right? Um, and if you have any questions, 
be sure to message me and I would be happy to help. Um, I think that's it. Um, and again, don't forget about uh, my class that's going on um, September 8th. It's a Sunday. It's $20, but um, it will be free when you subscribe to uh, Paper Pumpkin. Okay, after the class, that means. So you'll get this. And then for those of you who are my current subscribers, um, you can come and make this card for free. And let's just have a good time and chit chat, right? All right. Thank you again and uh, hope you have a great week. Bye.